So what do you think we got here? What can we do? Well, this is oxidation. Now, this is a copper pipe, and this is a brass shutoff valve. It's called a stop and waste. The stop part means that it shuts the water off, and the waste means it has a little drain cock right here to let some water out on this side. Oh, yeah. Now, anytime water gets out of the valve in any way, it can sit on the outside of the valve, and now in the presence of oxygen, air, it will oxidize and create a film on the outside, much like the downspout or a gutter, a copper downspout. Sure, I've seen those. So now what we could do is we could just try to clean this up with a wire brush. I could repack the bonnet and try to repair the valve. Yep. But I think it's smarter to just replace the whole valve. Well, will you be able to teach me how to solder uh, so no, I can do that? Not a chance. No, we, we're going to put in a valve that doesn't require any soldering. Hey, great. I'll be right back. All right, Clint, here is the new valve I brought for you. It is still a stop and waste, shut off with the waste on the side, but instead of soldered connections, it has compression connections. And the way that they work is there are nuts and ferrules. These are brass rings. Oh, yeah. This goes onto the pipe. The ferrule goes onto the outside of the copper pipe, and the pipe fits right down into the valve. Now, as this nut is tightened up onto those threads, this nut actually compresses that ferrule right down onto the copper pipe tight. So it's the ferrule that's creating a watertight seal. Exactly. Why don't you just take the emery cloth and just clean as close as you can to the valve. Okay. It's a lot easier before we cut it. All right. That should do it, I think. Now, to cut the old valve out, if I were to use a tubing cutter, the closest I could get this blade would be about a half an inch away, right about here and right about here. And when I cut it, it would be too wide for the new valve, this opening. So the best way to do it is to take a mini hacksaw and to cut it as close as possible to the old valve. That's one. You get the other one. Okay. As flush as you can and as square as you can. Time for the new valve. Go. All right. Okay. Now, on this valve, there is a correct way to install it. This is a service valve that has an arrow on it to tell you which way the water should flow. This is the upstream side where the water meter is. Yep. And on this side is the fixture or device. If you install it correctly, it'll allow this drain cap to drain the water out so that you can work on the fixture. Okay? I got it. Now, there's also a bunch of ways you can install this valve in this orientation. But the way I like to do it is to leave the stem facing straight up. All right, so now let's start. Put that on. All right, Clint, just grab this crescent wrench, the adjustable open end, and they're going to go clockwise that way. And I'm going to hold back. Wait for me to go. All right, now go. How tight? Keep is going, it? keep All going. Right. Can I over tighten it? You can, and you can split it, but it's pretty hard to do. Okay. Okay, hold that. That's pretty good. Hold that. Okay, now we're going to reverse. Okay. I got I to gotta reverse here, so it's... Go ahead. All set? Go, yeah. All right. Is that it? We got it. Okay. All right. Now, you notice that I was holding these pipes so they were all the way into the valve because I want the ferrules to make a nice tight seal. And that is it. You have a new valve. <laughs>